because when the cells are growing, you are in trouble because space is so small. They don't buy it. Or on the other way, it's two millimeter. And the number of microbiocytes you have is nine billion. So how of it in the last 90,000 make a pump that pumps a lot to the rest of the body. And you have this 86 billion brain cells. Now, if you have a thrombus in the brain or an ambulance, you have intervention time at least three hours. Why? What is the food from the brain? Any idea? Glucose. Because of the glucose only food, it will run out in three hours. So when the glucose runs out, with the thrombus in the cylinder of the brain, the brain will die. So that is causing a stroke. If it happens on this part of the brain, it will, my opposite side of the lip will be paralyzed. So it has such a tremendous consequence that we must prevent it. First of all, if you cannot prevent it, if it is forming, there is a drug that will break the high brain, holding the brain cap together. It is called TPA, tissue plus mineral activator, which is an enzyme, recombinant protein that will be injected to break the top. Sometimes it could not be broken. Then we could use a catheter and break it out and suck out the thrombus. So there are many devices that allow, but everything should be done for the heart in five hours, intervention time. If you could not bring the thrombus, open it up and recanalize the blood vessel, you will lose the heart muscle and heart attack and the patient will die. But if you could fly the patient quickly to a hospital where they could do CT and geography to find out where is that from us, then we could do a bypass and other procedure, then we could save the patient's life. So the, you know what to do right now. Five hours for the five body of the or muscle learning, three hours for the brain. So the tools and technology has been developed, but it is developed in good in the big cities. In the smaller areas, if it happens, the patient might be seriously affected. So this is the summary of this slide. So you can see your door is open, and you could keep it open by healthy lifestyle. But if you don't, if you smoke, and eat a lot of meats and other products with a lot of oil dust, then you could have this. So you could have a second chance with any new plastic, and you could live under that so if you have your goal after the first attack is to prevent the second heart attack. So that is the rationale and that's what you, the patients work for, to prevent the second heart attack. So this is my NIH campus. It's a huge campus in the Central Maryland. And uh, they have a total budget of 41 billion dollars. And out of it, for 10 percent is spent in this campus. So all the other 37 billion goes to all the medical centers in the United States, in the universities. One sixty dollar knowledge were supported by fund from NIA. So it is a tremendous impact on all aspects of life. So what did I do to measure, to measure from us? So if platelet is making trouble, so my goal should be to spy on the platelet and see what is doing there that I could prevent it in the beginning or intervene when it is in the during the mischievous act. So I have to make the platelet that we are doing with the artificial matter called artificial matter called India. And this matter is the isotope 111. It has why we chose India 111 as an radioisotope or radiative life because it has penetrating gamma radiation. So gamma radiation would penetrate muscle, bone, fat, comes out, we could capture the radiation with the gamma camera. So this gamma camera is the tool where we are measuring inside the body without cutting it open. So these tools are for coming basically. Previously, we had to do the pathology, we had to cut it open the chest. Now with this imaging technique, we could do the measurements without causing injury. So before the brain test, we tapped it with India. For the, we also wanted to look at the buildup of the cholesterol inside the lining 
of the coronary artery. So we use that another isotope for IOD 131 and 125, two isotopes for measuring microproteins. One of them, I used it to attack the low density cholesterol transporter, LDL. And the other is high density microprotein transporter, finally cholesterol. So, HDL is the good guy. LDL is the bad guy. We take the cholesterol from blood, put it, deposit it on the coronary artery. So, this is the new way of working. So, I make the flow of the artery now. So, I have to inject it and do the development. But I need a good animal model with the disease. So, we could do the development. So, we have the probes right now which label the cells, platelets, and lipoprotein, and that we measure. For measurement, I mentioned about the gamma camera. So, this is one of the system. And of course, we also have to simulate, because most of these measurements, for every drug study I do, putting a hard ball, I have to do the open up surgery, it costs about 4 5 thousand. But I have to simulate what happens in a hard ball in a flow room. I will have a glass chamber, I will have a hard ball, and I will have a flow room with a pump by pushing the blood through a hard ball in a chamber, or a flow room with good flow chambers, we could simulate the process of thrombosis. So this is much simpler. It shifts some of the simple elements we could do. And of course, our artificial heart ball is another area where it could cause a vulvular heart, unlike coronary heart disease, where the disease is confined to the coronary artery. Vulvular heart disease relates to the calcification of the valve. You have four valves, and each of them has reflex. So this reflex are very important and very flexible, keep on moving in every day. But at the elderly age of 70, 65, 70, the lymphs become calcified. So it cannot run in as fast and it could also cause thrombus. And my wife had the same problem from the aortic valve. She got a new heart valve. But these heart valves in the past were implanted by opening the chest. So this interventional cardiologist developed or surgeon developed a new technique. They put the heart valve, made a thin valve, thin tissue, they have a catheter. And this catheter is putting the femoral artery, it pushed all the way, going on the top of the heart valve, or the defective heart valve, and then you release the valve. So now you don't have to open the chest, you could implant it directly, and the patient could go home in a slow waiting for several eight days in the hospital for getting better. Now, they could go home with about two days. So this new technique is called transcatheter aortic valve replacement. So it just happened and it happened to my body. So I learned more and more this technique here. So you can see these devices are evolving at a tremendous space, but you need the money to pay for it. The bill came out $182,000. Fortunately, we are on social security and I paid over $6,000. So, you could see the technology that is passing and you should be keeping an eye on learning about it. And it is also fun. You could do something for your patients with your own brain, with your own intellect. And of course, as the blood is flowing, there are also other efforts we have to consider. We use large animals so we could study the pathology clearly. We started with the dogs, with them we moved to cows in some case and then to pig. Pig platelets are similar to human platelets. Pig blood vessels are similar. So we must consider the adopted species. But dog platelets are three times more thrombogenic than human platelets. So there is an effect, what we learn from the animal, we have to know the limitations from the dog study. And then biomechanics. When blood is flowing through a native blood vessel, there is a lining of cells called endothelial cells. They are your best friend, but they cannot give one layer of cells. So when that layer is damaged, 
we are in trouble now, it will be falling from us. So, whenever God comes in contact with the artificial blood vessel made of that from that form and other polymers, they fall from us. So the biomaterials is an option, but there is a high risk of thrombus formation. So I will give you some of the examples of biomaterials. And of course, as the blood is flowing at a high flow rate, it causes the shear. So the shear also breaks down the platelets. So the platelets are making trouble, you can break them by shear force apply. So this shear force is used in using the hard plug machine. Do you know what is the hard plug machine? So like, if somebody needs the hard ball, which is now calcified, the surgeon has to open the chest, have to cut the heart, remove the old ball, and put a new ball in the it. So now, when the heart is stopped, so that the surgeon put the surgeon in surgery, some machine has to take care of the heart. It's called artificial heart, which is basically a pump pumping blood. And simultaneously the lung stops. So you need an artificial lung. So this is why the machine which keeps you the patients alive when the operation is going on is called heart blood machine. And because you are bypassing the heart and lung during the open heart surgery, this circuit is called cardiopulmonary bypass circuit. And we develop tools and techniques which is forming a lot of thrombus, the heart rate machine. And this was my last plan to reduce thrombi and moli in the heart rate machine and reducing brain damage. And we did most of the studies in the pig model. Pig, as I mentioned, is a good model for reducing thrombus. So, coming from Bangladesh, without any background, I have physics chemistry math till I graduated and did my work at Harvard in nuclear spectroscopy. But I was very lucky to get a fellowship at Harvard in nuclear medicine. And they asked me, okay, make new heart scanning agent with an artificial isotope called Tactetos. And I made six of them. And then I tested it and it worked. And so we got our 15 minutes of faith in the patient. It was a TV newspaper. So your work pays off. And of course, at Harvard, they have the best scientists, they have the best lab, they have the clinicians finally trying to find a way how to find out the measure heart muscle damage. But they did not know the chemistry of the clinician. But when Mandela made the predictable, he left a hole. You have the chromium and then manganese and then you have a hole. And that hole was filled up with the artificial metal. The name is Tecnetos. So that hole was called Acromanganese. When Mangalis, there was the artificial metal was not found in nature. He made it using the Sanskrit word echo, Acromanganese, because it was labor in the city. Since I taught chemistry, I speculated the chemistry and I made the molecular probe. We know that the cycling goes to the dead muscle cells in the heart. I hooked up this metal by removing oxygen. Now I have a technician and a cycling complex. So I will be giving you examples of many complexes. One of the complexes we use to label the platelets is a real token. So I will give you some examples. So since I learned the medicine by talking to the residents, by doing experiments, so I am grateful to all the people at Edelstein and Harvard and uh, Jim Robertson and uh, Valentin Fuster at Bioclinic. So all of these people, and maybe Shai will talk to me about a lot. So after a while, and deep tree, she had me in neuroscience. And a lot of the surgeons, neurologists, cardiologists, and a lot of my new boss, and I'm so, he is a genetist, so I brought him here and he can apply. And of course, I could not done any of the work if I did not learn how to write grants. So if you want to be your boss, learn how to write good English so that you could write good grants and compete with the rest of the world. So I figured it out, I must learn how to write good grants. And I was very lucky, I got about 
five or six NIA camps, which nearly gave me tremendous independence. So if you want to be your boss, learn how to communicate, how to speak well, or to write well. So the camps, as I say, more than five million years in 30 years, most of it can go national hard money projects with you from the Department of Anarchy from making radioactive molecules <coughs> and then American cancer cells and all the other organizations. And of course I can tell you that we work with the drugs. Without the drug companies giving us medicine. But once we found out we could mess up from us, all of these drug companies, they will have, when I ask for about small sample, they will send me a 10 kilogram drum so that I can use it in the heavy way I want it. So these are really contributions. And all the drug companies and the device companies, they also keep on all the devices. The Metronic, Baxter, Shiny, they give us the hard bomb. They give us the hard plug machine. Baxter gave me a hard plug machine for 20 years so that we could mess about this process. So I am grateful to this organization and the people who have me do what I am doing. So again, in Boston, I developed imaging technique. And of course, as I made this radioactive technician, the scientist who is going to tell myself, I wanted to see if I could develop a death cell model. People use cancer cell model for cancer screening drugs. So I said, why not I develop a cellular model to find out which molecules I made go to the dead muscle cell. So that's the cellular model. I developed it and I used it for screening which molecules will go to the dead cell and will stay there so I can it. And of course, we also developed new technique can be cells. So I give you some of the examples. And then of course when I went to Mayo Clinic in Rochester, Minnesota, the cardiologist asked me to have this thrombosis. So that's where I developed a molecule for indium thromboro. The isotope is indium, but the indium has a unique chemistry. So I have to change it to make it to bind the cell. And then I started to run the ultimately from radioactivity in the blood, from radioactivity in the heart of or any other device, I made a mathematical equation to convert the radioactivity in number of factors. So now I have a unique technique to measure exactly how many platelets are sticking to the heart pump. If I use a drug, if it is working, the number of platelets come down. So that is a unique method I developed and the algebraic equation for three-tier platelet density in coronary artery bypass graph. That was my first project. And then I worked on artificial blood vessel, synthetic muscle of graph. And then I worked on heart pump, artificial heart pump. From my, and some of it, from my platelet, it also calcified. So by doing the studies in Rochester, Minnesota, we did all this. But then I moved to the University of Miami. So that's where we need the MRI method. If you have damaged the carotid artery, it will form thrombus. Some of the thrombus will go to the brain. A piece of it we call it MRI. So although we could measure thrombus by injecting the reactive or imaging, we could not measure the MRI because they are too small. So we developed some techniques or electron microscopic autoradiography to look at the showers of the airflow in the brain. So I will show you an example. So the Rajasthan, we did this in Miami, we did this, and also we perfected the heart lung machine. So I will give you some of the examples. And of course, now I am trying to harden the pump for pumping blood. We know how to do it. But brain is something the major challenge, and none of the drugs that work for the rest of the body does not work on the brain. Do you know the reason why the drugs work for the body does not go into the brain? Yeah, 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 yeah. Perfect. So those barriers are good to prevent the toxic chemicals and metabolites that might be forming to reach the brain. But this also hinders to treat the brain disease, so the brain is dying, we cannot 
vegetarian drug, you must make a liquid soluble drug that will go through the zoonotic barrier and affect the issue. So I will give you some of the issues. And of course now, this is the area of genome. We not only really want to know what the proteins are doing. So how many genes we have in every human cell? Any idea? 20,500 genes. So to practice personalized medicine, we only know about half of the number of genes, the other half of the number. So we cannot practice personalized medicine by taking a drop of blood and measuring all the proteins that are made by analysis. So the proteome is a critical role and then the genome and the development of biology and the human brain. So I will give you some other examples to deal with some of it. So why the coronary heart is so important? You can see this is the statistic. So the cardiovascular death is about 500,000 in, in spite of the richest country in the world, in spite of all these technologies, we lose about 500,000 death from cardiovascular disease alone. And on the top of it, the sudden cardiac death. So up till now, I've been talking about levels of the coronary artery and thrombosis. So this is for the ischemic heart, not enough drug to the heart or to the brain. Narrowing of the heart. The other one is the conduction defect of the heart. You will see a robust player playing basketball or any other sport, intense sport, and suddenly you will collapse on that. So any reason you could think of why there is? There is a conduction system in the heart muscle. The heart cannot make a beat. It is the pacemaker cell which are making a pulse which will conduct the electricity through the muscle fiber. So this is for the sudden cardiac death is because of the death of the pacemaker cell which leads to the other death. So there are some genetic diseases that have been found and as you know the heart is depolarized when it is polarized when it is a resting state, when it is excited, it gets depolarized because of the iron circuit. So this iron gating inside the heart muscle fibers is regulated by the iron channels. So when you have a mutation in the gene for iron channels, you might have the sudden cardiac arrest. So I will mention in time markets about the genetics of the sudden cardiac death. So that's the coronary artery alone. You will see how many of them are dying, about 44%. And then of course there are other issues of high blood pressure, about 10%. And then of course when they end up in, when the muscle fibers become very weak, they cannot pump. So you have a heart failure. And of course the other issue is the stroke. So when you have a heart muscle not pumping and all blood, some of the drugs are going to drain. So you will see the stroke account to 17%. So here is the heart. So here is the aorta. Here is the left ventricle. In the right ventricle. So you will see the artery. So, how many arteries there in the heart? Major arteries. Left, anterior, descending arteries. You could see this artery is already opened up to show the buildup of the cholesterol and the calcium phosphate. You could see a, already a narrow channel open. So, now you will have, if you climb the stairs of the exercise, you will have to the chest pain or jam. So you could see this already it is a bypass because it is not in the focal So you could also see the same thing, not only for the LAD, is right anterior descending artery from the right ventricle. And then there is another artery that goes around it, this is called circumference. So the key is I come on, is imaging and hardware because the radio of this chairman who worked with me in a very hard muscle damage in Boston. And when I went to my company, my project was to study the coronary bypass graph. So when your whole artery is blocked, you bypass. But in those days, the bypass graph used to get blocked because of thrombus in the distal end. The distal end is very critical area. 
you take the second elevator from here and then you bypass. The bypass in this area is okay because it's a big area, the blood vessel size is small. But the corona diameter, as I mentioned, should be 2 millimeter. And so you have to hook up a 4 millimeter vessel with a 2 millimeter vessel. So that area, you need to six stitches so that it does not open. But the those stitches in the small area cause the thrombosis. It used to get more. So we developed a technique of aspirate for sanitary protocol. If you give it, it stays open. It stops 30% locking down. We drop it down to less than 5% using the coronary bypass subject model in the end. And of course, dogs, coronary artery, do not get occluded with cholesterol. Right? So what can you do? We tie down the coronary artery and then we bypass. So this bypass technique, I just wish to use the aspirin for certain protocol. My next area again was on heart valve difference. So the heart valve may from us. So where is it? How much? How do we do it? So my last project, what is this machine? Heart lung machine. Very complex system, there are seven parts. So I will explain some of them. So after working almost 20 years, I reduced the thrombus in the artificial lung from 25% to 0.25%. So without management, I could not have known what happened in the new technology of artificial lung that was developed. So, so I talked about the thrombus, but you could see the nature of it. You have this, as I said, one layer of endothelial cell. Each of the square is the endothelial cell. But as I mentioned, the, this is the cholesterol plaque. So this is the reaction of the plaque. So you can see the white cells, the collagen fibers, they are broken down. Suddenly, the, the chemicals inside the plaque comes open and the thrombus form. So this is what causes the thrombosis in high flow, high shear artery. So this also could happen in a venous system. If you are sitting idle in a plane for five, six hours without moving, if the bank knee, a clot will form in your vein. If you see this clot is reddish, this clot is white. This is like that thrombus, this is red cell clot. So venous clot is full of red cell. But again, you see the heart valve and see where this guy is sitting. He's sitting next to the heart valve. The moment you get up and start walking, this ambulance will go into your lungs, will kill you. It's called pulmonary ambulance. So, now you become a hematologist. You learn about platelets, you learn about family levels of the the clotting factors, you learn about the thrombus in the arterial system, you learn about the thrombus in the venous system. The goal is not to have them. The goal is if you have them, how to break it open and so that blood will start flowing again. All right. So, what about the cells of the blood forming? I made this introductory slide so that you could understand what I am talking about. Where the blood cells are formed? <laughs> yes. So you see here, so how many types of categories of blood cells are there? The major two categories are lymphoid cell and fibroid cell. Lymphoid cell, what are the lymphoid cells? What are the lymphoid cells? T cells. T cells. What does the T cell do? If, you, if there is a tumor forming somewhere, the T cell sends and kills them. They release the toxic chemical, tumor necrosis factor, and it kills it. So, the T cells are stopping tumor formation in your body and killing it. So, the other guy is B cells. What are the B cells? <laughs> they make immunoglobulins. So, their goal is to, if the T cells do not kill, they will come out of the cell with an antibody, will make another protein called complement, and they will kill. So nature provided you a lot of good cells to help you to survive. 
para fornecer a linfraterina. Para que tu sales de uma cela e da linfraterina e que está a ter a vida de Myers. E quando o Myers sai, você é familiar com o eletrocyte e depois você tem uma outra espécie de cela ou uma outra cela. Então você vai ver que tem um nuclear e depois você tem Neutrophils, polymorph, you will see many granules, and then this is the one which causes error. So you could see here is another cell called megakaryocyte. One megakaryocyte is big, karyocyte is a nucleus, cyte is a cell with a big nucleus with many lobes. And this lobes break it little by little in time, releasing fragments of megakaryocyte without the nucleus. So those chairs are the platelets. So what is the meaning of the platelet? What is plate? A dish. Platelet is the sponge. So what is the diameter of the earth's sun? Well, 10 to 12 micrometer. What is the diameter of, of the platelet? 2 to 3 micrometer. So those little bars tell you a good job. When you are bleeding, so I give you an example. So when you are cutting, when you are cutting, it is all over and over else. That is where the treatment is saving your life. So what is happening now? You have a cut of a blood vessel. So the treatments are coming out, they are setting it up, and they have the clock. So the cut of an area is seen. So why? Because if the blood keeps going out, there will be nothing left in the heart to pump. And the patient will die, it's called cardiovascular shock. So, to prevent that, nature intentionally give this protective technique to forming in a centrifugal. So, brain plant is a savior when you are bleeding. But, so when you have, you are smoking, you are enduring the lining of the epithelial cell. That's where the brain plants come and stick. So, Whenever you have an injury, that's where on the lining of the blood vessel you have to worry about. So what are the things? Smoking, goat meat and high cholesterol fats or other cause of inflammation. The high pollution level, it causes the inflammation. Those small particles that metal about 2.5 nanometer, they could go between the epithelial cell junction and cause pulmonary disease and all other problems. So pollution is another power region. So here is a resting plate. The resting plate here is a lot of chemicals inside. Those chemicals are released suddenly. The plate is a big ball to squeeze. So it has a lot of stored chemicals inside, alpha value with a lot of proteins that will be released and form the top muscle. And then you have calcium phosphate called dense value. And then you have other types of value. And if you see there is a belt around it. This belt of made of a protein called tubul leaf. And then there is the open canalicular system. When the platelet is activated, suddenly a nice looking dish turns into every R platelet, activated platelet, ready to hold five minutes. That is to hold another plate to form the activity. So here is the activated plate and the whole the plate that being held together by a protein fibrin, which is derived from the protein factor of fibrin or jam. So jam is making fibrin, and fibrin here is the fibrin. A mesh. So here is the fibrin of the molecule. It is a six pack type 340,000 kilogram molecular. And here in the stack. So this brain has activated, is able to bind to a receptor, glycoprotein 2B3A binds five on one side and on the other side it binds another plate. So now we have a plate left, five day plate left, and then it keeps on building very quickly because all the chemicals that are squeezed out, it is including more plate left. Is recruiting more funding pretty soon in a spontaneously within about 10 to 30 seconds. This thing explodes. It is designed, of course, to prevent breathing. 
but in the wrong time, wrong place, it could gain the patient. So, so what are the cutting factors? Do you know? Any idea what did they do? There are many cutting factors. If they work in a cascade, they are enzyme. They are called serrated proteins. So there are two pathways, the intrinsic pathway and the extrinsic pathway. This is the factor then and this is the critical factor. It is the thrombin which is also released by brain. It is the thrombin which also are able to cut the fibrinosa into fibrin. So the thrombin once it is activated, cut the fibrinosa into fibrin and make the thrombin. So this cascade of events working in a standard one activate the next one, next one, and within a fraction of a minute, you have a thrombus. So the nature designed this activated system, not only in the plasma, some of these things are also released from stored granules in the patient. So I spent a lot of time to give you the basic sign of thrombosis. And of course, most of these cardiac factors are made in the liver. So don't destroy your liver by taking too much alcohol. Because you are leaving your man <laughs> to keep it alive. So they will break it up in alcohol theory. And because we have chemistry, so I thought I'd tell you one of these small molecules that we are used to prevent plate and to stick to each other. So what is the best use and the best medicine in the world? Yes, yes. Here. So that 81 milligram tablet you take, it drops out the plate gap for the whole generation. A plate gap lives in the blood for seven days. So if you take one of the that plate gap is gone. So this is the unique way. So I wanted these slides to be available to all of you. I told them to record it and also I have a PDF. So listen carefully. You could ask and look at it later for copying and things like this. You can take whatever you want to copy it fine. But it is available to you guys. Because I gave a lecture at the age, it is also available. But this lecture I asked, I gave a permission to record it so that you could look at it at your convenience. And that is a complex subject. So if you have a question, you can send me an email and I will be delighted to respond to your question. This is the other one. This is the one which is released by the in a lining of the endothelial cell called first cyclic. So you could see this is a very small molecule. It is very unstable. Whenever you have any thrombosis going, this will prevent the thrombus formation of first cyclic. And then when you have another drug, motion, it reduces the inflammation. And another one we tested this cyclopin, diabetes. Besides, these are plate gap inhibitors, one of the pressure. The other thing you could also block is the clotting factors. So what do you use to prevent clotting factors? Which is heparin. Heparin was extracted from interstitial mucosa, pigs and cows. So this is the source of heparin which prevents the clotting factors from the which is a powerful body factor. So you could prevent it by plate that inhibitors, number solution. You could prevent it by heparin. So when you go for the open heart surgery, the first thing the surgeon will do, inject intravenous heparin, so that when they are putting catheters, they will not be clogging up the whole system quickly. So the heparin is a very important molecule. It is made of, you will see, the rings of carbohydrates in a chain. So it is a long chain carbohydrate preventing from formation. On the, then of course the next generation of drug is from fibrinolytic drugs. You know when the brain cell is being hold together by fibrin, so if there is an enzyme, it could break the fibrin. So that's the tissue plus mineral activator, there are many of them. And then the bacteria streptococcus also is an enzyme of this is called streptokinase. So kinase comes from the streptococcus. This also could break up. And then of course you have plasminogen activated. This particular protein and serine protease is made inside the cell. Now you could take the gene and make tons of it using 
recombinant DNA technology. The company can adapt to the gene and put it in hamster ovary cell. Why hamster ovary? This is a cell which could produce tons of protein that's secreted. If the protein is made inside the cell, if it is not secreted, you won't be able to get the protein out of it. So that's the Chinese hamster ovary is the major source of recombinant protein for a not only for tissue plus another activator for a lot of other things. So recombinant technology changed the world for the better. So here is the cardiologist who asked me to work on the thrombus. So he is the one who gave me his million dollar time, Valentin Fuster. Even now he's active. He not only was the, the chief of cardiology at Mount Sinai Medical Center in New York, he also ran a cardiovascular research lab in Madrid. He is the director of the program. So he commutes back and forth and he sleeps probably about four five hours. And he keeps on working. Anytime I see him, he's writing a book. He had a big book on cardiology. And he's writing. So, before a presentation, he will sit down with the slides and polish, polish, polish to make it easily understood. So, that's why he's one of the best speakers also. So, I think this is the chance you have to acquire if you want to be a great professor. Could be done, right? You must have the confidence that I can do it. My father told me I could do anything I want. So probably she was exaggerating, but at least some of it I believed it and that helped me. So here again, sequence of events, I gave you, I gave you some of the examples what you should not be doing. So the smoking and the diabetes affects small capillaries. Unlike coronavirus, almost affecting two pituitary vessels and arteries, the diabetes is affecting small capillaries. So diabetes increases the chance of coronary thrombosis two to three times. So make sure we don't get that India is the diabetic capital of the world. We eat so much rice, we don't need exercise, and that really causes the major problem. I am also diabetic, but I exercise every day, 25 to 40 minutes in the morning. I cannot do exercise in the traffic because my knees, the thyroid is gone. So I need the excellent diet. And I could put tiger music or something to bribe me so that I could do more exercise. So 20 to 30 minute exercise is a must. How many of you do exercise every day? All right, if you hands are up, I want all the hands up. Because exercise is free. Exercise has so many benefits. When you do exercise, the muscles start are waiting for you to suck out the glucose. So if you don't do exercise, the muscles will slowly die and you know, super the blood will stay there for the hyperglycemia. And the hyperglycemia adds sugar to a lot of protein, making it toxic. So it is your job to make sure that you have enough muscle. And so what is in the muscle that breaks down the glucose and make the chemical source of energy? What organelle in the cell? Mitochondria, those little bugger, the cells acquire, they work together to keep you alive. They have their own genetic system, but most of the genes to run the platelet is coming from the nucleus. So what are these? So what is the how does the glucose and fatty acid is broken down inside the cell? Mitochondria. And what is this cycle called? You are in biochemistry. TCA or the cycle. So the, now a lot of the genetic diseases are coming out mainly of the generation in the older age because of mitochondria. In the liver, it is it's making so much of protein, you have 20,000, about 2,000 mitochondria per hepatocyte. So, the whole the cell is active, more mitochondria. When the neurons are dying, the, the energy source is made linearly. So the mitochondria from your the axon going from your neurons all the way to the motor neuron or the tip of your toes, 
the anarchists produce locally for California and deliver in that area. So in the, most of the time at the long end, that's where the cells die. So you have neural detection stopping from the digital and from the axons here. So again, my criteria, critical role, I want all the heads going out because it could be done every day. So you must manage your time to give your mitochondria a chance to do better work for you, for yourself. And it is free, you are not paying somebody to do exercise. So it is so important. Everywhere I live, science, nature, the best channel of circulation of the heart disease, they are all telling you, eat less, exercise more. So, simple lesson, a few small things you want to do is to exercise. And of course, the guy who tried to take, what do you say, that's all from us in the blood vessel is this guy. He was a general guy, pathologist. So pathologists, they find out what is wrong with the body and they do the autopsy. And when everywhere study we found out, if the blood moves, it does not form trauma. When the blood sits there, stressing is for no blood flow. Or if there are more chronic factors in the blood, it's coagulating. So hypercoagulability. And then of course if the endothelial life is damaged, you have low blood flow and clot formation. So this is the idea. So it was his model. But this has been refined with quite a few other things to make it better understood and high school. So again, the treatment, and again, your cholesterol will up. 70% walking occurs at say 70 years of age, slow build up. But when it captures, in third minutes, you have the whole thing caught. So you could see how fast this two pathologies are operating. And I will give you some examples for the deal with it. So here are the decanalization. The here is one of the cataracts. It is twisted to break the thrombus. And of course, also, you not only want to break, if you break it, it will go further and cause more trouble downstream. So, you also want to suck it out with a broken trunk bar with a suction catheter. So, these are some of the devices that are used for thrombectomy device. Thrombectomy means cutting the trunk bar and pulling it out or breaking. So, these are some of the tools that are used here. And so, so how many things the break less? Leave in your blood. Any idea? About seven to ten days. So within the measurements using India, and you can see the half life, the clearance time is about ten days. These gentlemen and the creative brain guy he helped me to do some of the mathematical modeling of platelets using protocols. And uh, so you can see here the drugs for anti platelets you have there are more than 50 drugs now available. Aspirin clonics, you might be seeing that environmental clonics. It is a program. It has, it, once you take it early, it has to go to liver. The liver enzyme breaks it down. So it is a genetic, if suppose enzyme is not effective, he will not make enough molecules of clonics broken down to make the drug. So the other drug, is very so empty platelets, empty platelets, and then the fibroid blood. So here the platelets are all five and two. So how are the platelets form? As I mentioned, here is the megakaryocyte, a big cell with a big nucleus. So you could see all these things that are coming out from the membrane of the megakaryocyte. And so here it is shedding all the segments to make the platelets. But this shedding is occurring under shear. Here is the microtelium is sticking, sticking out a piece of the whole membrane. And that piece of the membrane is, as the blood is flowing, is tearing it apart to make the platelets. So platelets are formed by shear from the microtelium cell. One microtelium cell makes about 1,000 platelets under shear stress. And new platelets Hundreds of billions of them are formed in the blood every day. So, what are the other things we need to make a diagnosis? Any idea what are these machines? 
we could do non-invasive imaging. Many times, what is CT and QRAM? What is does the word CT stand for? Computerized tomography. You slice the body and then you put it stacking together to be done. So these principles of using X-ray images to stack it out is called computerized tomography and QRAM. So for X-ray CT, for MRI, for heart tissue bone calcification, you use the CT. For soft tissue, brain, blood pressure, ligaments, cartilage, you use the MRI. It's a very expensive machine. It uses nuclear magnetic principle to make the image. I don't have time to talk much about it. And then there are other images by combining two of them together. And this is the machine I use for imaging with gamma camera. So use the gamma ray and this principle use many detectors to make a rapid image. So you can see and also the other one is the ultrasound. To look at the heart valve, ultrasound is a very important echocardiography. So each of these machines is good for looking for a reality, city and geography. This one is for the brain, this one for the coronary tract would be image with the MRI. So with the ECO, you could look at the heart part. If the lift lines are open or closing, easily with the ECO part of the Sometimes you could combine two machines and get the function and the structure simultaneously. <coughs> so these are called fusion. So each of these machines is about four or five million dollars. So expensive but a lot of clinicians are purchasing in this area now. There are lots of expensive machines and they cost a lot of money. So as I mentioned, if there is a heart attack, what do you do? You pass to the hospital? What is the first thing they do? What is this one? Electrocardiogram. You are recording the signal, electrical signal to the heart. So what? You can do this. What this actually center increases, so that is a signal for my body and for But it happens only 70% of the patients, the rest 30% do not have the actual center in the So here in the heart, you could see this heart, many areas, it is wrong, it is narrow. So this image could be obtained by CD and you. So here, you have to look at the other, and then, Depending on if it is a local area, you will have to do the But endoplasty causes huge damage. When we use the endoplasty in the peak, we saw the endoplasmal cells are gone. The thin layers of the artery are torn apart, causing severe damage. So we need, when we use one drug in combo, we need the two drugs as they are dual plate that elevators are necessary. And then, of course, to stop the cholesterol buildup during the study. One of the, do you know what is the name of the second drug? What does it do? Lipitor, Sigma study, the whole prices were given to Brown and Goldstein to study the life of the matter with them. They are the first one who used the study. And so, if one cardiologist is telling you that if you have enough money, you will put study in the drinking water. So, for us, we will have to disclose the quantity of the expected proposition. So, on the other hand, in the narrow area, we do the new positive. So, here is the possibility for a new positive and value for a spot. If you have many results, bypass is the way to go. And then, of course, your bypass will get wrong if you don't keep your feet here, if you don't exercise. So your goal after the heart attack first one is to prevent the second one and the third one. So again, this is the lesson. And of course, each of the body factors will be drawn with many other steps, besides the thrombin, with the thrombin and the hepatite and the other factors. And so here again, is the same body testing, and each of the body factors should be drawn by a variety of drugs. So, so I gave you an example of thrombus formation. 
here is the Alexa, here is the self driving, writers are coming from the compass. So this is how when they are using the compass code. What happens when an artificial compass? Because we use artificial formal artificial compass of the many areas. What happens there? So the plasma coating, they come and stick to the plastic. The plastics what we use to make artificial clothes are adapted. Do you know what is the chemical made from that term? Polyethylene terephthalic polymer, long chain polymer. You could make plastics to make your pants. The surgeons remove the sinks, store, factory store, and they fix the fabric to their wife to make it easier. And they tested the animals, but they put those blood vessels. When the blood vessel becomes larger, and it could not have what is called the process. And is like we have seen the fire going up, right? So the same thing would happen at the high blood pressure. The blood pressure would form a balloon and it would not check. So the subject would cut it open and then put it on a clear pattern because that no blood pressure could be taken for that purpose. So artificial polymers should be used, but artificial polymers won't form. So now we have to make an aspirin or all the other drugs every day to prevent the most of the So here are the three layers, the ischemia and the third cell. Middle layer is made of muscle, so muscle. Outer layer is made of muscle. So the three lining must be very thick. So again, so I gave you some of the examples of the anatomy of the blood muscle. And the way the reason I was successful in measurement because I used all different machines because some of the devices are big. Yeah, when I did the river of a big, it is about 2 kilograms. So to measure the radioactivity in the river, I had to slice it and put it in a big machine. So I calibrated all the machines so I could measure the tropas in a human patient with our camera because that's the only thing you could do in the patient. With the big, I could cut with the animal and cut with the ball and find out the compass to become a counter. And then, with the large chunk of tissue, I could measure the eyes and the temple and those things. So I interpreted with all these machines so that I could know exactly where this moment is. So this intercalibration really made by me. Ultimately, I made the equation. So this is the way to calculate it. I skip it. And uh, so, what is the isotope? It is a group 3 element in the end. So, what did I do to track the cell? I neutralized the charge to be in the end. In the end chemistry is similar to ferric cell, three plus. So, any metal ion is not go to the cell membrane. What do you do? You neutralize the charge to the metal by adding three immediately charged molecules. So, now I have in the end. This molecule is neutral. Three plus is neutralized by one minus when the hydrogen is removed, it becomes one minus. So one molecule of one atom of indium with three molecules of thrombo is a neutral molecule. This chair will go to the cell membrane because it has another chair. So once it is inside, it tags the pressure. So the indium stays in the pressure for us. So this is the principle of that. So when I work to do like a top of simity, I take the block for the three atom with anti coagulant, citrate, separate the platelet, add in the anthropolo, inflate it on the hour, wash out in the active method. So now to image from us, I use radioactive plate, same procedure with the animal model, and it. The other part to make it radioactive five minutes. I separate the fundamental from blood, not human, bee, or cows. And then I oxidize the iodine. Iodine comes as an iodine. So, do you know what problem do you make in your iodine? I never say. So, what is the source of the metal iron, non ionic metal that is used to make iodine? How many items are there in the thyroxine? Four. Four. And what is the active ingredient? 
Thai Iodo, Thai Iodo. So anyway, so I made the NDRP iodine, but the iodine has to be oxidized, and only it could replace one of the hydrogen ions and thiosine. So if you want to make an NDRP molecule, you first look for make sure there is a thiosine there, where we could add the iodine. So now we have the NDRP platelets to follow the platelets, and then we count them more, we try to them. So that's really help us to do complete mapping. So as I mentioned, so we did the first study to image compass and this is where it got This is my equation. From there I can calculate number of platelets taken by the Delta blood person. From there I can calculate how many hundred and molecules are speaking there. From there I can calculate how many five hundred and platelets. They get famous for the population. And then measure if also they are 10 to 15 times more hybrid population. So next time they can want us to treatment bring. So, so this is the simple equation to convert the DRC to a number of patients. So I think the animals at different time, one of them, three day, seven day, five day, nine days. So you could see when the endothelial cells are lost, a lot of some parts in the cell, in the vital cell. But when we did that, the density per cell is decreased. This is the logarithm scale. Number of factors per centimeter square logarithm scale that's very good. So you could see at about 90 days, there is no difference between treated, vital blood, and control because the endothelium is uncovered. And you could see in the next slide. So day one, you could see breakdown from us. Why? Because as the cycle is removing the cellular brain, it never has the inner lining of endothelium cell. That's when the blood cells come and sit and form this blood cell fight in top of in the vital cell. And then it could sit three days, seven days, it is getting healed up, and it finally will come, and now it is completely healed, so no difference here. So, after about 90 days, we don't need any more drugs. But it is not true so because it is human, there are other causes causing thrombosis, so the patient is given. So now I took care of the issue of thrombosis. So what else is happening in the vital cell? The endothelial cells are gone, we try to keep blind. So now the cholesterol is coming up and bringing up the main drug. You don't want the cholesterol with that so quickly. Why? Because the endothelial cells are gone and cholesterol is coming. So to find out how much cholesterol is giving, how fast, I use Many cholesterol marker. I use the marker for cholesterol alone. I use the marker for high density glycoprotein. So most of the particle cholesterol cannot stick by itself. It is a sticky molecule. It needs a protein to bind. So where does it find those protein particles? Protein in the bud. They are here. So here is the high density glycoprotein. It is the diameter. And here is the density. So you could see high density, here is the low density like the protein, and very low. So and then the larger fragment, when you are eating a fatty meal, it goes from stomach or intestine into the blood as kind of micro. So you could see basically it is a cluster of desired in the centra with cholesterol and Apoprobin, see the big problem here is the apoprobin. There are many apoprobin. One of the bad apoprobin is ApoB, which is present on the low density apoprobin particle. So here is the right guy. So when I tag them, you could see how fast the cholesterol is going in the blood pressure with time. But slowly, as the endothelial cells come up, the cholesterol will start to increase. So these patients probably made that has to stop trauma in the aspirin, it also makes the stacking to reduce the breakdown of cholesterol. So this is for the first time we studied both of them together in one blood vessel. So I mentioned about the artificial blood vessel. So these are the polygons. You know what I was studying about? Analysis of Libya with the dactyl cube. So here is the polyethylene, telephenic. So this is the polymer, it has different name. Dacron, 
that will be minor. So it is used to repair large process. And then we have the another polymer which is used in artificial blood pressure of heart one machine, silicone. And then you have polyurethane, which is in the shoe, so that the shoe of the ship is here. And, <coughs> and this is another one. So these are all long chain polymers that could be used to make artificial blood pressure. So here is the flow loop. Anytime you want to study some material, so we put some blood and then put a pump and I can put it I like that to have the clear blood pressure and measure what is happening. And so here are some of the examples of some of the fibers and how it is building up from us. So I also found out that as the platelets are going, the high shear, we have to go down the small pieces. So here again I am showing the dark platelets are making thrombus three times more than the pink and human platelets. So I show you some of the parameters. Now this thrombus formation, it is already whenever you go for a catheter radiation. So you have the problem with the heart. The interventional cardiologist will put a catheter all the way to push it in the chambers of the heart. So if you just put a catheter below, what will happen? It will fall on top us. So here, I put a catheter on the two sides of the legs of the, of the dog. And on one side, I have a control catheter. On the other side, I have a drum binding catheter with hepar in the to the catheter. So you could see the drum binding reduces the top us on the other. The whitish color is top us. So you could see control catheter with the color. And then, if you wait long enough, the control catheter is <coughs> breaking down thrombus and the other one is building up also. So you can see the thrombus formation occurs whenever you end up breaking the process of including the catheter. The catheter is made of only catheter. So again, here you can see the thrombus broke down, it went somewhere else. So this process is very dynamic. We call it thrombosis, is a dynamic process. It is forming in one place, going and breaking down the other place. So we talked about and you brush the and here is how we touch it. The catheter and then the stamp. Here in the stamp here. You could make the stamp for a tube, you take a metal tube of stainless steel or nickel titanium ion. And then you attach it laser vaporization, leaving only a spring. So and then of course you can talk it. So we also use the dog model to test many drugs. So, so on one side we will put a sanitary plate, on the other side we will put a clear view and we tested all these drugs. So you could see how using different drugs we could reduce the amount of platelets sticking to the blood vessel. So if you use a lot of good drugs, the platelet count will be here in billion. If you go to the right drug, then you will see the whole four million per vessel gets completely blocked. So these are exact patterns. We came to 320 dollars for doing this slide. So we want to get the produce for the dog so that we can see the patient. So here is the real scanning in a micro class of a plate pair from us. So here you will see the activated plate pair holding another plate pair with the five. So this is our new plastic model in the thing to study that here. Now, here is another fellow which is used to make drugs to prevent some So how do you think the, this scab to help you medicinal leech? When the leech is sucking your blood, how do they do? It reduces the dry hydrogen. So if it's a good thing, why not I take the gene for hydrogen, put it in the Chinese hydrogen over it, and to make one so hydrogen. So this recombinant hydrogen is used in reducing thrombus for pain. So we talked about the thrombus or any artificial device. Here the device, a heart pump. So this is a mechanical heart So I am taking you in more time. So let me know how much time more I will take. I could go slow or I could go fast and cut down this part. 
how much time do you want to spend? I could take my hand. So here is an example of the chopper of the hard ball. So I connected the mechanical ball and you can see there is nothing. It is made in a special kind of a biologic kind of mechanism. But what of the chopper is in the soil matter holding the ball is suitable to the weight of the heart. So that's where most of the thumb was in the soil. This is where I took the picture. This is the real slice over the heart ball. This is the, the imaging, the maternal imaging of the thumb was. So here you can see most of the thumb was in the injured suture area of the muscle. Here are the family. So by doing the imaging and quantification, I can find out how much in different ways. So I also studied the tissue heart So this ball is taken from the pig. So it was the take one big blood from the pig ball, pig heart. So by putting three of them, you could stitch it. It takes eight hours to stitch one of these. The Filipino things that are very good at it, and they are higher. It takes eight hours to make one of them. This is the one, it's called transcatheter aortic ball, where you don't have to open the chest. You squeeze the big ball on the catheter and put it in the machine now and put your hand in some balls. So this is the example of putting a tissue hard ball, the alternative hard ball. In the mechanical hard ball, you read medicine every day. If you forget one medication, you could have a stroke. It is hard for you, mechanical ball. Tissue hard ball, if you forget medication, is okay, it does not work the most problem. So that's the different thing. So, this is the, you can see the calcification of the heart ball. And it happened in a young kid. So, causing the cap model, the heart ball can So, my mother was very unhappy in her telling me her, she asked me that people are saying, you are doing Google, what do you do? And that time I had a big and I had to study calcification of heart ball. So, this heart ball can survive in the operation. So, I was putting heart ball in cloud. And so when I mentioned that I was stressing that she was very unhappy, she did. We have no rights, I promised that I would solve the puzzle. And that's where after three years I made the conflict equation and solve the puzzle. And that so I modified the heart pump and then it forms the layer itself. So I patterned with this process. So this is an example of how the trunk was solving and temporizing the good method. So, you know what I was telling you, the patient has carotid artery damage and it was giving with the gamma of the thrombus in the carotid artery on this side, it is called ulcerated plaque, it is making thrombus. But this thrombus breaks down to the brain and we cannot breathe it. And that's where we injected 10 times more radioactive platelets and slice the brain in the other way. So this Thrombus is going to different parts of the brain. You could see all the little dots like a star in the night. So they are all at the mass. So we could matter. If you are a beauty on this side, you would have most of the emperor on this side. But some of the, because of the sacral ability, some of it will go to the other side. So you could see the top part. But they are astral thrombus. So these are astral thrombus take down within a short period of time. So when you are driving, you know, the outside of the lab, suddenly you could fail. And if it happens in the middle of the street, you might die. It's called transient ischemia. So for the first time, we are going to have the end one. So this is some of the study of artificial dental fight put in patients where they did not, they are not born with this thing. So you could see they are forming troubles and it could matter. Here again is a dental fight. 15 years after having the implantation, it is still making pressure from her. So, so, so here, in the Arthur machine, that was my last time, we perfected it with the help of this thing. The NIH reviewers did not give me the lab because I was in Miami, I didn't have all the best 
staff of a lot of these sergeants that you would hear. So I complained to the director of an IA. She was the first woman director, part of the Gilly. I said, look, I did all you want, but without that, I cannot survive. So she gave me the first director's award, Shannon Award, under Fowler, and then my grandson has a portion of the power. So I saw the power of the hardware machine. The major thrombos is popular in the artificial market. So the company, when I went to my army, the company gave me 100 dollars power, but I had no diagnosis on here. And I went to the director of the hospital center, Dr. Kaiser. He gave me a sanctuary and a small lab. So I started operating. And he was my sanctuary. He was a thoracic center. Now he's the director of the Monasi Study Personal Center in Greece, Athens. So he's one of the top 20 centers for something. So this is the model. The model. One of the things we do in the region, we do exactly the same way in the field so that we could better. Trump box in different parts of the art of machine. We also met up with the Inter Strength Center using pro cytometer. So, this is another way to look at the tech plate lessons and the plate that's right now. Pro cytometer. So, these are the artificial lines. But in the middle, that's 25% of the problem. 10% is the battery oxygenator. This is the whole of my oxygenator. Point to my percent. Light is going to the narrow channel of polypropylene fiber. Oxygen is being outside. These are key to oxygen. For the carbon dioxide is happening in the artificial body. So, we did this is from us. After 20 years of research, we reduced from those in the radio machine. So, here is our team. So, this is the professional team. I am a subject from China. American subjects, they cost about half a million. But I could get Chinese subject, very great subject. He was doing the subject for thousand dollars a year. If I had been there today, he is my IOTA student and the MRI technician. After the week of the surgery with the Chinese, when we found out that cytokine release during running of the hardware machine for TNF alpha causes huge injuries to the brain and causes the swelling in the brain with the sunchi and gyri separated. Here, after the surgeon, the swelling of the brain often you could do using an MRI. So, so this is the genetics of coronary heart disease. So one of the genes is this particular one, PCSK9. So you could see there are many genes that are causing the damage to the lining of the blood vessel. And so they are being extensively exploited. But the brain cancer do not have any clear. So most of these genes are coming from the cervical cells, which are defective right now, smoke muscle cells, and other cells here. So this is the mechanism how brain cells are activated, how some of the genes are affected with the muscle cell, and how the liquids are affected, one of the apoprotein and transcendent bias cholesterol is a good DNA going. So again, the bias cell. So the bias cells, they help us to save, but the both sides, they also break the rupture's plaque, also causing hypoprotein. So these are some of the advanced period of the patient. So you could see some of the genes which are causing some of the damaging effects. So in the interest of the right now, from much of the you could read it and be able so this is the base patient. This is what Shushma Shara is there. So when she died, I thought that I first talked a little bit about the Sarai cardiac cancer. That pacemaker problem is solved by having a real pacemaker which would control the heart rate and the bleeding. So it would see the effect of the death of the pacemaker. So this is also another way you could convert a muscle cell into a pacemaker cell really. Here, so, these are the genes that are mutated in sardine cardiac disease. So, again, you could look it up and read the song. So, again, you could see our effort. We started pushing large in the molecular domain. What are the molecules that are affected? We tried to make a diagnosis. We wanted to make a biomarker, so by taking the blood, we could send when the patient is going to have a heart attack. And then, of course, we must be clinical trials, medical trials are not good enough because of so many other 
and of course, I'll tell you how much the whole of that is. So you will see it is a consistent effort for more than 200 years, thousands of scientists work. I was lucky enough to be at Harvard for possibility to be at Mayo Clinic, out of 780 stock consultants, to be in one the trial years of the because that's the number one killer. So, you could design, handle, and see how this would be better. So, when I started working with trade class, so I, was, I had no idea what I was doing. So, I was looking like this. The Chinese popcorn are testing everything. But the whole the day is so it's very bushy. So the elephant must be very heavy there. But the whole the time was able to work it back. Wow. So these donuts, four years ago, I was here. After 40 years, now I will give the elephant like a model. So I can control the most with drugs, device and medication. So this is a group of people. They are all in that industry. They are teaching the benefits of different aspects of the molecular and the biology. And here is my boss, Alan Shaw. He is running the Adina disease, one of the most important ones, age-related macular degeneration. You lose sight in the center of the body because you lose the rest. So this is our group, and I always want to thank you. So my thank you. So, you could also apply, but it is very competitive. You are going to compete with the Chinese and the PhD. But NIH looks at very people and they recruit it from all over the world. So, a few very fans, you will come from India and other places. So, it is your world, it is your day, you have to stick. This is mine. I am going to control, I am going to provide, I am going to take effective work. So, the aspiration must be yours. And I wish you the best. Alright. So, if you have any other issues, you could read it up. Also, question is okay. Please come. Come here. I don't hear very well. So, India, yes. So, that India is a radioactive element. So, if it releases down radiation, so would it be, uh, I mean, uh, uh, harmful for the body? Well, we, we, this is why we have to do the dosing action. So, we do the volunteer studies, getting an approval from FDA. It's for the investigation of new drug. So this radioactive technology is a consistent new drug. So I have to calculate how much radiation is sensitive, radiation sensitive or not, the eye, radiation sensitive or not, donuts, of the woman and the over, if they have their DSR, and the bone marrow, they are also radiation to so We must make sure the radiation level does not exceed the safety level. So we have to do the technology before we study the more than 200 patients that we are infected. So you see a very difficult as the reason we took it as a three day half life, 68 hours. And it has a two higher energy level, 171 and 247. So they could penetrate the tissue, but they come out to capture the tissue. So India radiation bound to approach helps it to get to any cell. First, you must separate the cell if you put down India to approach the blood. The red cell will be enough to get the blood in the mouth. So we have to separate the red cell and have a good idea. So India to approach the amount of radioactivity in the animal and the patient, it is not toxic. It does not do 
Thank you again. 